Hi friends, this is Traveling Geek here and this is a video about the LG GTX wireless charging test. Uh, this is a stuff cool wireless charger with a 10 watt of output. The maximum uh, input is 18 watt and maximum G wired certified output is 10 watts. Now the next charger here we have is the Yumiteji Q1 wireless charger with a maximum output of 15 watts. Now this is also a G certified wireless charger. Maximum input is 18 watts and maximum output is 15 watts. Now here we can see more details about this charger. This is by Yumite AG. Uh, this is not available in India. I got this uh, sometime back from the AliExpress. Now both the chargers are having dedicated power inputs. Now the Stuffcool charger is connected with the Transmart 90 watt hub and the Yumite AG Q1 wireless charger has been connected with the Stuffcool 65 watt GAN charger. The idea is uh, not to have any kind of power loss while using this test. Uh, so let's keep the LG GTX phone on the Stuffcool wireless charger which is having a 10 watts of output. Here you can see that the uh, battery capacity right now is just 2%. Uh, so we will have the maximum input uh, power input by the phone. As you can see, as soon as I keep the phone on the 10 watt wireless charger, the charging has been started. It's showing charging wirelessly and the total amount is 3 hour and 58 minutes. Let me show you again. It's showing 3 hour 58 minutes until full from 2% to 100%. Now that's a significant time because it has a 4000 image battery but almost 4 hours to charge. Now let's keep this phone on a 15 watt wireless char charger. So let's see what exactly the time is shown. So now the wireless charging has been started and uh, you can see one change here that the total wireless charging time has been reduced from 3 hour 58 minutes to 3 hour and 14 minutes. It is also showing fast charging wirelessly. Now this is a difference between a 10 watt wireless charger and a 15 watt wireless charger so the uh, idea is to show you that the lg gtx actually supports uh, 15 watts of input uh, i cannot exactly measure how much input has been uh, you know accepted by the lg gtx uh, when using wireless chargers of 10 watt or 15 watts but you can see here that the charging time uh, taken while well, the LG GTX using a 15 watt wireless charger is significantly lower than the 10 watts. As you can see here, it's uh, just 3 hour 11 minutes and also showing fast charging wirelessly, which was missing with 10 watt wireless charger. So, uh, the you know, actually, I was not so sure whether the GTX actually supports more than 10 watt or not, but uh, many of you were saying that the LG GTX having the maximum wireless charging input capacity is only up to 9 watt which has been declared by GSM Arena which is basically wrong I can say. Also one more thing that I have not shown the Ampere app over here because Ampere app is not showing very accurate and consistent uh, input uh, by the LG GTX uh, when charging the phone using the wireless chargers. Now that's the specific reason. But we can clearly see here that the phone is accepting more than 10 watts and you know having a significantly faster charging performance when using up to 15 watts of wireless chargers. So here is a direct comparison with the wired charging compared to wireless one. The phone is taking around 2 hours to charge from I think 7 to 8% to 100%. Uh, but this is just a comparing uh, comparison to show you know the difference between the both so guys if you do like this video don't forget to click on thumbs up don't forget to subscribe this channel this is traveling geek i am signing off thank you